Which number do you notice first? One, two, three. I'm only asking because I'm trying to trick your intuition just to pick the card instead of your ego being like, I always choose two. So the one that you are drawn to the most, one, two, or three, is your card for this week, June 20th to the 27th. If you chose number one, we have the five of cups, the six of wands, and the king of cups so these two cards popped out first meaning that it's what's most important and that is that it's really time to let go of three emotional connections that betrayed you hurt you disappointed you abandoned you yeah it was devastating it is definitely a hard knock life 100 percent however now because you're lingering in that space you're forgetting that there are two people that have been here trying to support you through this they have been on your side in your corner this entire time but because you're so focused on the three betrayals or the three abandonments uh betrayal feeling well abandonment feeling like a betrayal as well there are still two people that really are like wake up and realize that i am here for you and i'm trying to show you that support one of them being this king of cups this masculine water sign cancer scorpio pisces who if you look they're jumping through hoops for you that is the power of your love that is the power of your energy that they are literally doing everything and what's so hilarious about it is they actually feel like a fish out of water doing this they feel a little bit uncomfortable and different and and kind of awkward and out of their comfort zone in order to show you this support, in order to be that person for you, because maybe they don't have it. So here they are emotionally tapping into your energy because they are so empathic, trying to show you that support, and you're over there crying, right? It kind of reminds me of, you know, like, not to downplay it, but it kind of reminds me of, you know, a child who, look at all my friends at my birthday party, but because my best friend wasn't there, I'm devastated, you know? And it kind of just shits on everybody else who showed up. So right now you're kind of, you're kind of shitting on everybody who's there for you, these two people in particular who are there for you, because there's three people that weren't there for you, that you are still emotionally harboring, whether you want to recognize it or not. You show it through your actions you show it with how you treat these people you show it with what you're saying as well even if you're not consciously aware of it just pull yourself back for a second and be like oh the only reason why i don't recognize this masculine water sign jumping through hoops is because this person never jumped through hoops for me and here i am jumping through hoops for them and i don't know how to recognize when somebody's doing it for me because i'm constantly doing it for the person that has betrayed me because i'm desperate for their attention and love so I hate to be so heavy, but just kind of take a look out and realize that especially this mask and water sign, they are trying to show you that they do support you, but because your emotions are locked essentially in the past and you haven't built a bridge and gotten over it, uh, you're kind of, you're poo-pooing on especially this masculine water sign. So yeah. If you chose card number two, we have the death card. So massive transformations this week, things kind of re uh, regenerating and rejuvenating and being released and let go of in order for something new to come in. It's almost like a purity as well. It is really beautiful. It's recognizing that through death, uh, something new can come. And it's just reminding ourselves that death really can be so beautiful depending on how they're going, right? It's not until after my past life regressions where I'm like, wow, that that's poet, that's poetic, right? That is romance. Uh, that's a beautiful storyline. Uh, but of course, when you're in it, it's devastating. So recognizing that this week, something may seem devastating, but it's really, really actually a beautiful, poetic, romantic representation of the frailty of life. Um, which I think should be honored, right? Like maybe I'm just too romantic, but sometimes I think about uh, how people go through these transformations and I'm just like in absolute awe, but of course I still have to mourn and grieve the person that they once were. And also within my my own experiences, recognizing the person that they once were and who they are now, it's, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, but it's also um, a, a process. <laughs> it's definitely a process. So go through the stages of grief this week, recognize that you are going through a major, major transformation. Something has to die in order to create space uh, for something new to come in for you. So it, it could be a very, very beautiful journey if you want to look at it that way. And I really hope that you can. All right. If you chose card number three, we have two cards here. It's the three of wands and then the 
king of swords so this week if you wanted to create something with a masculine energy air sign a libra aquarius gemini this is your week to just do it because essentially all the tools are in your ships have come in you have all the supplies and resources that you need so it's time to stop with the excuses and with the blocks and just begin that something with a masculine air sign it is time to do it and they're going to take you on this beautiful journey of imagination exploration and it will be like i'm being drawn to these three butterflies here it will be like a cocoon but beautiful um transformation just like the death card just like card number two beautiful transformation if you trust in this masculine air signs intellect like it's really trusting their creative genius and realizing okay they are part of this toolbox they are part of the resource so i'm going to look at them as a partner and as an asset and an ally instead of competing or feeling threatened or feeling like i'm not going to live up to it or feeling ashamed or insecure this person is a massive massive ally and asset and it is time to just create that project that beginning with this masculine air sign okay you have everything that you need all right you need one more thing and that is to reach out to me on instagram at beyond your sun sign or email me directly beyond your sun sign at gmail.com let's have a chat and i will see you next week bye